Hello everyone, the new M3 MacBook Pros just ended up coming about, so I want to go and give a quick introduction on how to use these specific MacBooks. I will tell you, you made a great choice, even if you bought the base model, like the cheapest one they have, these are very good MacBooks. I've been using my M1 Pro MacBook Pro for a while, and they're amazing. I don't even plan on upgrading for mine for a very long time, but these new M3 ones are very, very nice. Now, physically, they look almost the same as even like the 2021 models, to be honest, but they still look very, very good. They come out in a few different sizes, 14 and 16 inches still, which is very nice. So if you've never used a MacBook before, this will be a quick introduction. But like I said, the best thing to do is get your hands wet or hands dirty and just go through and just pretty much just start jumping into it and you'll pretty much learn it pretty fast. On the outside though, obviously this thing closes and opens just like any other MacBook. At the very front, you have your Apple logo, which looks very, very nice. Like I said before, I'm a big fan of the way these MacBooks look and they still look and hold up very, very well from this perspective. Now, at the very bottom, if you kind of look at it from here, you just get your latch. So it's just basically the way your MacBook opens and closes. So nothing really on the back. You never really have to look at the back of this thing. This is probably the only time you'll ever look at it, to be honest. On the right side, you are getting some very, very good ports here. Something I really love seeing on this. So you're getting your MagSafe port, which is really nice. So if you want to charge this thing, you have a lot of different options, but you have the option of basically charging it via the MagSafe, which is nice. It's cool. I never really use it this way, to be honest, unless somebody else has a MagSafe charger that I can temporarily use. Other than that, I'm almost always using USB-C. But the benefit of charging here is that it frees up more ports, so you can always use your other ports without having to charge them, which is really nice. Now you're getting your two USB, you know, C ports, they're Thunderbolt ports. So what you can do is you can not only charge it via these ports, you can plug in different, you know, dongles, you can plug in different accessories, hard drives, SSDs, whatever you want to plug in, you have that type of capability. And my favorite thing is on these newer MacBooks, because you have a port on each side, before the M1 MacBook Pro didn't have it, now you have a port on each side, so you, now you can actually go through and plug in an accessory here and an accessory there, and basically do things on both sides. You have another USB-C port, then you have your headphone jack here too. On the front side, nothing, just a little you know indicator that you can go ahead and use to open up your MacBook. On the right side, nothing crazy except uh, on the right side, it looks like this one does not have that USB Type-C port here, so keep that in mind, but the other MacBooks do, like the more expensive ones. This is the cheapest base model. You're getting that SD card right here, which is really cool. Then you're getting your HDMI port, which is really, really nice. So I do use my HDMI port a lot, and I use my SD card a lot. These, This SD card is the reason why I upgraded to the M1 MacBook Pro, or the M1 Pro MacBook Pro, for my M1 MacBook Pro. This is a very nice thing to have without having to plug in a dongle each day. That's a very, very nice thing to have there. Now on the back side, nothing super crazy here, nothing we haven't already seen before. You're just getting your MacBook Pro like little icon here. So it feels good, it looks very good. I think it looks very, very nice. Now these things at the bottom are called feet. So you have your feet of your MacBook. So basically you can set this thing on like a desk or something and it won't touch or scratch the bottom of the MacBook, which is really nice. So that in and of itself is a very cool thing. You have your screws and everything and everything else is pretty much the same. You're getting your fans on the sides as well. And overall what I'll tell you is, very good MacBook. I love this MacBook a lot, and physically, it feels very nice. Now, opening up this thing is very easy. What you can always do is you can grab the little indicator at the very bottom right here, and you can go and open this thing up. So it's very basic. All you have to do, what I usually do, is I grab this thing on the side, and I usually just open it up just like this. Now, when you open it up, you'll be presented into a few things. So for one, you have your keyboard. Now, this keyboard, I think, is a very good keyboard. There's a lot of travel to it. So it's the full one, you have your you know, standard keys that you usually have, then you have your fingerprint sensor at the very top right, which I think is very nice. Having a little like you know fingerprint sensor right there is very cool. And basically whenever I unlock my MacBook, I will literally just go through, hold it down right there, and it will go ahead and unlock my MacBook for me. Now you have your standard keys and everything. I like how it's like black keys and black like background, it looks super cool. You're getting your speaker grills on the side as well. So you're getting your standard speaker here and another speaker there, so it's really nice to have that effect. At the very bottom, you're getting your trackpad. This is a very nice trackpad. I love these trackpads so much. And I feel like they're probably the best out of all the PCs I've ever owned and everything I've ever used. These, mag these magic trackpads, you know, whatever they call them now, are so nice and I love them a ton. Now this brings us to our beautiful display. Now the display on this MacBook is very, very good. Like I said, they come out in two different sizes, 14 and 16 inches. At the top, you're getting your notch, which is, you know, I think it actually kind of suits these types of MacBooks pretty well, and it gives it a little bit of a unique design. You have your front camera there too. You're getting your standard type of bezel and everything, nothing super crazy, nothing we haven't already seen before. And then we're getting our standard macOS software. 
I'll give like a quick brief introduction on macOS. Like this is not suit anything super crazy. And if you've used macOS before, this is gonna be very similar. But there's a few things to keep in mind. You have your status bar at the top and you have your dock at the bottom, depending on how you kind of standardize your settings. And then you have your splash screen, your home icon, everything, all the applications you're using in the center. So typically the status bar stays the same spot, the dock will stay the same spot, but they do change frequently. So the very top left, just on your standard home screen, if you click the Apple logo, it will always take you into these settings. Now these settings include about this Mac, system settings, resend, force quit, sleep, restart, shutdown, and lock screen and log out of user. Very quick things if you wanna quickly just restart your MacBook, if you wanna do anything crazy, you can just quickly change these up here, which is nice. You can always click about this Mac if you're ever wondering what Mac you have if you forget, or if you're planning on reselling it. Sometimes the resellers or people who are buying it want to go ahead and see what type of MacBook you have. So you can come here and show everything that you have. Okay, it's like the M3 MacBook, eight gigabytes of RAM, like you can kind of show what you have. But these toggles will typically change depending on which specific application you open. And these are just like more settings and things that you'll basically find. If you actually go behind the notch, you can see that I can bring my magic mouse, like the cursor behind the notch here, which is pretty funny. At the top right, there again is nothing super crazy. You're just getting your time. You're getting your little indicator here that shows you a little bit more information. You're getting control center here, which is nice. So you can quickly toggle on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, AirDrop. You can change your brightness or sound right here too, which is super cool. And then you have your Wi-Fi and then you have like battery. If you want to turn on battery saver mode or anything like that, you have that type of capability. Now at the center, like I mentioned, there really isn't anything that we have yet. But at the dock right here, we have all the applications that come pretty much pre-installed with our Mac. These aren't all of them, but there's a lot of them. And you can change these applications out. You can delete an application from here by just clicking here and click remove from dock. You can really do whatever you want. But if you open up apps like the App Store or whatever apps you have, you can actually go through and kind of see all the applications that you have. Now, the big thing to keep in mind is that if you want to close out of an application, you can click this X button. If you want to minimize an app, you can click this minimize button. Or if you want a full screen one, you can just click full screen and you can full screen an application here. If you want to get out of full screen, you can tap the escape button and get out of it. Now Finder is very important because this will show you basically all the files and everything that you have within your Mac. But the reason I use you know files a lot is to install other applications and kind of manage my whole entire computer. But if you want to see the, all the applications you have on your computer, you can open up Finder and you can go and click on applications and you'll basically see all the applications you have. So there's a lot of them already pre-installed. Some of them are already on the dock, but if not, you can always find them here. So it's actually really nice that you have this type of capability of just seeing all the apps that you have in your MacBook. So what you can do now is you can delete them, you can open them, you can realistically do whatever you want to. And it's honestly a very cool thing to basically have this type of capability. Now you can always open up an app and use it whichever way you want to and kind of change it from there. And that's basically that. Now you have a lot of applications on your Mac. So you're going to have to kind of figure out how to use it the best thing though is that Macs have an amazing community and amazing ecosystem. So there's so many things across the board that you can do on your Mac that I love so much. And there's such a huge community that there's videos on basically on how to do everything. In fact, my second channel, you know, if you want to check that out, you will find tons and tons of tutorials, individual tutorials on so many smaller things, how to screenshot, how to screen record, how to download apps, how to install, whatever. You can check that channel or you can check out other videos too. It doesn't really matter. But that is basically a quick introduction on how you use your Mac. A few things I'd re recommend doing though, updating your Mac. You can do that by making your way into your Apple icon here, clicking on system settings and going through your entire system settings of your Mac. So I'd recommend just going through here, getting used to this, getting used to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And the big thing is under general. So if you tap on general, if you click software update, once you're connected to Wi-Fi, if you go and update your you know, MacBook, I would recommend doing that because it keeps your MacBook as clean and updated as possible. And I recommend doing that as soon as possible. So that is a quick introduction on how to use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.